Hi, David Kirsten with Wide Angle Media coming to you from the East Bay area. Today I have a special presentation that I call Painting with Light in which I want to showcase a unique aspect of photography where you can actually make pictures look like paintings. Now I've never considered myself much of an artist and definitely still a photographer or videographer in training, but I believe with this style I've found struck a real creative chord with something that is special and unique. In short, there is a special category of lenses that can almost without fail provide this impressionist look or style and make your photos look more like paintings than photographs or even better, a blend of both. And perhaps mo more interesting, at least to me, is that you can achieve this look in video as well. Now most of these are just test images, not well composed or finished produced images, yet these images still have a special magic to them, a bigger in life that you don't often see in photography as well as videography. Definitely not the norm. Well, I've said enough, let's just let these images and the lenses that created them speak for themselves. Today we're going to be looking at three special art lenses and the images they produce as well as some video for some of them and a fourth bonus lens that I'm going to reveal at the end of the video. We're going to be examining the Minolta 58mm F1.2, the earlier version that's on the left hand side. The Lomo 92mm F2 Helios projector lens zebra version that's in the middle. The Super Tacumar 85mm F19 and that's going to be on the right. Needless to say, I tried to achieve this impressionist look in most of the video too um, that shot throughout. Throughout the video, I'll tell you what camera and lens combination you were looking at and then conclude with some analysis and tips for helping you achieve this same look or maybe your own unique look. With that, let's tap into our inner artist and roll the images and video with some background music. That's it. Thanks for watching. I do have a few concluding remarks for you. First, I wanted to say that the bonus lens is the famous Super Tacumar 50mm f1.4, the rare 8 element version, which was shot on my Sony A7 camera. It produces some of the most magnificent images I've seen in this category we are examining today, and a much different image than my other Super Tacumar 50mm one for seven element version, that's to my eye at least. Some of these images are completely wild in terms of the background and energy conveyed. Spectacular in my opinion, but maybe not for everyone. Second, I did want to give a few tips on how to achieve this look. Perhaps most important is the lens and camera that you choose. I would recommend starting with the Super Tacumars, either the 50 millimeter F1.4 or the 85mm f1.9. These are hugely impressive lenses, especially for the money. I would definitely shoot full frame to get the max out of the lens. 
otherwise the Lomo projector lenses are fairly inexpensive based on my research. Today I use the 92mm f2, you might look for other focal lengths, probably above 50 and below 150. Um, I did want to caution you that projector lenses don't have aperture control since they were meant for projectors, not cameras. Now these are all fully manual lenses. I would recommend shooting wide open aperture using a high shutter speed on your camera for photos or a variable ND filter or both to compensate for the increased light. For video, you're definitely going to need an ND filter in most cases to be able to shoot wide open. And remember, do not doubt your own great potential to become an artist, even a spectacular artist. We all need to start somewhere and photography and videography is where I got my start. That's it. David Kirsten with Wide Angle Media signing off. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.